Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. Exodus chapter 3 verse 21. So I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that when you go, you shall not go empty. When you are going for something and you go and you don't get it and you go back empty handed. It means you don't have favor. But, but, but when favor is upon you, and you are going for the thing, the thing will be given to you. You will not go back empty. Am I communicating to somebody? If you have favor and you go and you want sales, you will get the sales. Yes. If you want profit, when you go, you will not come back empty. You will get the profit. If you want employment, when you go, they will give you the employment. You will not oh, come back if empty. You, you will go for interview, you will not come back empty. You will get your, your letter. Yeah, you are praying that this favor that will make sure that I don't go empty, Lord. Let that favor become operational in my life. It should not just come upon you. It must become operational in your life. Let it come upon me. 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 Let it come upon it come upon me. Let it come upon me. Let it come it come upon me. Let 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 it come up
Say, Heavenly Father, thank you for your mercy. Thank you for answering my prayers. I received the answers. Instant answers. I received the manifestations. Instant manifestations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Please sit down. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I keep seeing it. Anytime I see you, I keep seeing it. There are some people who have been born to be men of God. You are one of such people. Amen. Amen. And the call of God upon your life is right. Amen. And anytime I see you, I see the call becoming prominent and prominent upon your say life. Daddy, daddy, uh, boss. So take good care of your life. Take good care of yourself. And I shall see. Don't live anyhow. Because because the perfect will of God for you is that you will be a man of God. So as you come to church and so go, pay attention to what is being taught. Because God, God is going to groom you. God is going to groom you. God is going to raise you into that call. Amen. Amen. Father, preserve him and preserve the call in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My brother, come. On Wednesday, whilst we were praying, God said to me that he wants to give you dangerous healing anointing. So, Mao, I am Sir Adam. Said, he's giving you dangerous healing anointing. So, Mao, I Adam. And God says that he is not consulting anybody before he is giving it to you. And the Lord is saying to me, he said, there are two things. He said, you reverence him. And you reverence his servants. He said, You reverence him. And you reverence his servants. He said, Because of that, he's giving you this anointing. He said, Anytime any of his servants speaks, you take it very serious. Because of that, he's giving you this healing and miracle working anointing. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for what He's doing in our lives. And I want you to know that your stability in God is greater than everything. You have to be stable in God. Amen. Amen. It is very pitiful. That people serve God for some time. And then after some years, they get offended. They get discouraged. They get disappointed. Because of something. And they don't serve God again. It's very pathetic. But God wants you to be to move from strength to strength. To grow from growth to growth. In your walk with God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God wants your zeal and your commitment to continue to multiply oh, and to increase. One of the things I want to tell you by prophecy tonight. Because what I'm going to say is, is I'm prophesying to somebody specifically. You see, there are prophets who don't say that say the Lord, but when they are speaking, they are speaking the mind of God. Don't allow anybody to sit on your relationship between you and God. Don't allow anybody to sit on it. 
don't allow anybody to sit on the relationship between you and God. There are some people when you when you see them now, then you are angry. So you can't flow with God again. When you see them now, you are angry. You see them now, you are offended. You can't flow with God again. Remove those people from your mind. I said what? Remove those people from your mind. Focus on something that will strengthen the relationship between you and God. Am I talking to somebody at all? Amen. Now, let's read this scripture in the book of Proverbs chapter uh, 29 verse 25. Proverbs 29 verse 25. You said the fear of man bringeth a snare. But the one who put his trust in the Lord shall be safe. <laughs> so fear is not an asset. Fear is not an asset. Fear is not any helpful thing. Fear is a destroyer. When the devil wants to trap you, he will bring fear. So the Bible said the fear of a man is a snare. So immediately you start fearing, you have been trapped. Right? Mm. Immediately you start fearing, the enemy can trap you. Uh, immediately you start fearing, the enemy can capture you. But when you are out of fear, and you are in faith, the enemy can never capture you. No trap of the enemy can get you. So the enemy has different ways of bringing fear. You can use preachers to bring fear into your life. Preachers on radio, uh, preachers on TV, preachers in your church, senior brothers and senior sisters in the faith. You uh, can use some prayer warriors in your, in your church uh, to bring fear into you so that he can trap you. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, I resist every fear. <laughs> Say in the name of Jesus Christ. I resist every fear. In the name of Jesus Christ. You can use doctors to bring fear. Doctors. You can use doctors to bring fear. Praise the Lord. Amen. But he said, the one who trusts in the Lord, the person shall be safe. So when you are in when you are in fear, you, you lose your safety. It's a you lose your but when you trust in God, when you have faith in the word of God, you are secure. Uh, are you are safe. You are protected. Say in the name of Jesus, I activate the protection of God in my life. Say I activate uh, the security of God in my life. Say I activate uh, the safety of God in my life. In the name of Jesus, say right now, every snare, say every snare, the enemy has set for me, break and scatter, break and scatter, say I break the snare, say I scatter the snare, say I break the snare, say I scatter the snare, in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of what? Fear. Yes. God has not given us. You see, a lot of us, it is fear the enemy uses to yeah, get us. Us. It it fear. Fear. He can bring you a humusious dream. You wake up from the dream and you are sweating. <laughs> then you are then you are afraid. Afraid. Say, I cancel that fear. Say, say, I cancel that fear by the blood of Jesus Christ. He can use your brother or your Christian sister to have a dangerous dream about you. And your Christian brother will come and say, Hey, 
I had this dream about you, and it will be a negative dream. You hear it now, then you are afraid. Then you are afraid. Then you, you, you accept the negative dream. Then an evil spirit will take the advantage of it and use it to attack you. Say, I refuse it in the name of Jesus Christ. Say it again. Say, I refuse it. Say, I declare evil dreams that somebody has had about me. Say, evil dreams. Negative dreams uh, that somebody has heard about me I cancel it by the blood of Jesus Christ I cancel it by the blood of Jesus Christ say right now negative dreams uh, that me myself uh, I have heard about myself uh, I cancel it uh, by the blood of Jesus Christ he said, my people are destroyed because they don't have knowledge. They are, they are my people. Oh. They, are, they are people of God. That's what God said. He said, they are my people. They are my children. But still, the enemy is doing them passer. The enemy is doing them passer. He's destroying them because they don't have the knowledge of God. You need the knowledge of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You need the knowledge of God. That is the realm you must walk in. The fear of man bring a snare. So the snare may be far away. Immediately you start fearing prayer, you bring the snare. Yes, yes, it may be far away. The snare may be now, far okay, away. Not where you cry. Immediately you start fearing prayer. Then it will bring no, the snare. So, so wherever the snare is coming from, let it go back. Let it go back. So wherever the snare is coming from, let it go back. Let it go back. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. That's what the Bible says. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. You must be a tough Christian. A tough believer. It doesn't matter the negative news they bring. You shall still flourish. Hallelujah. I said you shall still flourish. I said you shall still flourish. The Bible said they afflicted the children of Israel. But still the children of Israel were still don't entertain fears. And don't, and don't make yourself a channel of fear to others. Don't make yourself a channel of fear to others. Don't make yourself a channel of fear. Praise God. Hallelujah. When the angel came to Mary, the first word the angel said to Mary, fear not. Yes. Because every time they see angels, they are afraid. Because they have not seen some before. So they are afraid. So any time an angel appears, the first word he says, fear not. When the angel appeared to Joseph, the first word he said was, fear not. When the angel appeared to Zachariah, the father of John the Baptist, the first word he used was, fear not. Not. So if that person who is speaking is really a messenger of God, he will never bring fear into your life. If that person who is speaking, it is really God that is speaking through him. God has really sent him to speak to you. He will never bring fear into you. Uh, once, once, once he starts firing the arrows of fear, he starts firing the arrows of fear so from his mouth. Uh, so that it is no longer God that is speaking to you. In the name of uh, Jesus Christ. From today, you shall not fear. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your faith gives you the advantage. Your faith gives you the advantage. And faith comes from the word. Romans 10, 17. Roman faith Roman comes Roman by Roman. the word of God. Romans 10, 17. Faith comes by the word of God. That's why every night, I want to give you a little word. Every, every night, time, when we meet in the evening, I want to give you a little word. Because faith comes by what? The word. Without the word, you can fast, you still don't have faith. Without the word, you can pray and you still not have faith. But when you fast and you pray, 
Abompai. And you add the word. You are too much. May you become too much in the name of Jesus Christ. I said, may you become too much in the name of Jesus Christ. Your Christian life must become sweet. It must become sweet. Your Christian life must flourish. Because the word of God will give you answers. I pray against negative voices in your life. I pray against negative arrows in your life. I pray against negative voices in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give the Lord a mighty clap of faith. You are blessed.